Good morning, Joan Van Ark. Yes. Val Ewing. Star of Knott's Landing. The, the true, a uh, true, a definite true star. Yes. This Knott's is Landing has been, how long has it been on? Three or four years It's now? been on three, and we're going into our fourth season this year. Number four. Doesn't she look like a saint? Oh, I should have had a little halo. Her dad named her after St. Joan. He did indeed, because he thought it would look so good in lights. Do you Joan know, Van Ark. Do you know, St. Joan, what St. Joan said when she was burning at the stake, when they had her hands tied back? What were St. Joan's final words when she was burning at the stake? God, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that hurts. I don't know. <gasps> well, oh, is this what she was doing? Because I played words. the part, and I, I always know. wondered what to do with those last critical that's seconds. Right. Just blow out the flames that's as they're it. leaping, as they're licking their way up your of body. Up your body, go, oh, well, it's well, like it, birthday time. Isn't this odd, though, because you played at the University of Colorado. You played St. Joan there. I did. And then I understand you came back to do Joan at the Stake. Well, actually, I had done it twice. I came back to do both, both with the same uh, piece of material. It was Joan of Arc at the stake both times. I did it oh. while I was at Yale and then they, they did it again at the university uh, just about uh, a summer ago, it was a year ago right now, that I went back and did it. So it was the same uh, material and it was fabulous. And you were working with the kids there, the, the non-professionals, yes. and you came in as the big star. Oh, who was I don't know. And I did. I forgot to wear my little uh, signal here to show that I was a star. But I did <laughs> do something opening night that I just thought of uh, while we were talking about it. Um, we, they all wore tuxedos because it's a, a presentation with a chorus and orchestra. It's really very, very moving. It was written, the Catholic uh, answer to Shaw's St. Joan, because they figured that Shaw had made uh, St. Joan too human. Mm -hmm. So they wrote this more lyrical uh, version of uh, her last few moments at the stake, flashbacks. So all the kids were all in tuxedos and black gowns, and I went out and bought 350 uh, daffodils, those yellow flowers, to put on as boutonnieres for each one, so that everybody had that one unity of thing. And then I also wore, as Joan, one flower too. And it was just, then at the end, they ended up giving me roses. I bet you they took those little daffodils and pressed them I don't into, know. into their dictionary and they're away forever. Well, I hope my husband hears you say that because he, of course, went through the roof when I ordered 350. And had the bill. And, and the bill came the bill. and catched my drift here. Yes, he didn't <laughs> think it was so sweet. And then when he saw him on stage, he thought, yeah, it was really kind of spectacular because you saw all this black with these little yellow, mm -hmm. like little flames. Well, you really had a thing about St. Joan because when you married your husband, mm -hmm. you traveled in France and recreated the honeymoon her journey. was, yes, kind of going through Reims and uh, uh, Don Remy and all the places where she marched with her army. And I, I don't know, it's silly. And people say, oh, she's got to be nuts. Well, they know I'm nuts with these ponytails and these tweeter blowers here or whatever. <laughs> but... I, I just have um, a very strong feeling about, there's something, it's like when I'm with Julie Harris, the kind of feeling, you can't explain it, but there's an immediate, an emotional, a bond, a, a something soul-like that, that happens, that grips you, and that I feel that when I'm dealing with something to do with St. Joan, and it's, mm -hmm. well, such a stirring, incredible. I mean, when you think the girl was 13, 14, 15 years old when she did all this, mm -hmm. you know, the rest of us are worried about our nails and hair. Uh, well, I wonder, you seem obsessed with the idea that what you can do is not good enough. Well, that's me. Well, not. I'm never satisfied with with my job most of the time with what I do. Uh, there are moments, though, I know it's me to my nth degree, and I know it. So, in other words, I'm not so far removed and so the Looney Tunes that I don't know when it is right, and I'll say yes, print it. That's that's it, because mm. I feel you it. Could, you could always improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I don't know, it's hard to live with, but it's, uh, it to keeps you, you know, working towards something even better. What makes Joan run? <laughs> Some gorgeous guy just in front of me, <laughs> whoever it might be. She ran in the 1979 Boston Marathon, mm -hmm. and what happened at the top of Heartbreak Hill? Nothing, except I said, thank goodness, that's Over it. Over uh, an Irish police that's, officer. No, that happened to my husband, and more people have said this in interviews. My husband ran it, not having trained or anything, and he did a fabulous race. I was, you know, locking up, and I was having hitting the wall at two miles in and all kinds of stuff. Do you know what the article said? It said that there was a sweet Irish cop. You were dying at the top of Heartbreak Hill, husband. and he turned to you and said, he didn't know who you were, and said, it's okay, sweetheart. It's all, all downhill, downhill the from rest here, of the way. which is probably the name of my book. It's okay, sweetheart. It's, it's all, all down here for the rest of the way. But no, that was his because Heartbreak Hill to me and to most Californians is nothing. It's a piece of cake because there are hills all over the place where we run. So Heartbreak Hill didn't seem like any tremendous problem. 
How, much, how much are you running now? I have done 15 mile days. We have just started work. 15 miles. I'm getting it all back, and I may do another marathon if I. Knots Landing takes out a lot of my crazy energy. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe, but it does. And uh, so the running, I don't have the kind of energy I did, and I don't know how soon I'll marathon again, but I want to. But I've had 15 mile days in the last month. Have you ever hit the wall, or what do they call that? Right Break. here, this one. No, I don't know what that is. I think that's kind of a psychological thing that you, if you if you don't even think about it, you just keep running and you just go for it. I have had that happen, and that has to do with your nerves and your craziness. So you can hit mm -hmm. the wall right in the middle of a scene. Oh, yeah. And it would be the same thing. The amazing thing, she has a brother who is named Mark, Mark Clark Van Ark. <laughs> How could your mother or dad I don't have know. Done they're the that. same ones who named me Joan Van Ark, although I don't well, mind that. Like, I love know, it. That there's a nice ring to yeah, that. Yeah, that's okay. But Mark, Mark Clark, Clark Van, Van Ark. Ark. I said that on the Tonight Show one night, and he never heard the end of that. He never, ever heard the end of Does Are you go by CM? No, he Van just said, no, just Mark. Just Mark. Just or Mortz. <laughs> Mortz is what we call him at home. But, uh, <laughs> but no, he, he doesn't. See, he never told anybody that was it. But uh, that, that, that's sort of I can of the see joke. why you didn't. Yeah, you kind of got the reason there. Yeah, you know. She is a crazy lady right from the beginning because her um, wedding invitations, I'd wear darling. Did you her know wedding that? invitations read <laughs> the, the tam Taming of the Shrew. Yeah, good for one performance, one performance only. only. Yeah, that's true. And, and then our phone number, our phone number at home, 4427380, I think it was. It was the ticket number on the side. And it said Spangdalem Chapel in Germany, where my husband and I got married. Uh, delightful. Delight <laughs> well, may your star rise in the east and, and, and the, the west, west. <laughs> and wherever <laughs> it wants to, just as long as it rises. That's She's home. a delightful actress, a skilled and accomplished actress, and is doing well, and the show is <laughs> off and running. <laughs> Joan Van Ark, St. Joan, as we fondly call her, on Knott's Landing. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I've loved it. And 10-11 Morning continues.